the sky's the limit on this installment of The Wrap Up. If you had the opportunity to break away from the sunny dinner table on May the 20th, 2012, and you ventured outside, then you caught a spectacular show. The annular eclipse that was seen here in North America happens when the moon passes in front of the sun causing what looks like a ring of fire. If you live in the southwest region, then you had the best viewing. The solar eclipse is a part of a cycle that repeats about every 18 years and 10 days. On Monday, June the 4th, the moon passed through the shadow of the Earth, producing a partial lunar eclipse visible across the Pacific from China to the United States. According to Native American folklore, it's called the Strawberry Moon, so called because of the short season for harvesting strawberries during the month of June. It won't happen again until December 2117. On Tuesday, June the 5th, 2012, Venus made its transit across the face of the Sun in an event of both historical and observational importance. The event was visible around sunset from the United States. A swirling spiral of light seen in the skies above Israel, Syria, and other Middle Eastern countries on Thursday night has been linked to a Russian intercontinental ballistic missile test. Hundreds of Israelis jammed police hotlines with reports of unidentified flying objects, according to Ynet News. Sightings came from Lebanon and even Armenia and Turkey. Versions of the video, captioned in Arabic, began appearing on YouTube. I'm Rod Washington, and this is the wrap-up for June 8th. 2012.